Redding, California, we need heroes. We know that firefighters are heroes, police officers are heroes, first responders are heroes. There's a lot of heroes in Reading this summer. There's a lot of heroic action, but we must move forward. Life isn't ending. The fire changed a lot here in Reading, but it's not gonna change our crime statistics. Our crime statistics say that we're at the bottom 5%. 95% of the cities in the United States are safer than the community that we live in. But worst of all, our city was ranked one of the top five most dangerous cities for women a few years ago. This is of grave concern to me. I have two young daughters. I'm looking for heroes. And I want to talk to you about a hero I know. Someone named Eva Jimenez. She has such grit, such determination. She's a visionary. She's an inspiration. She is a hero. But she's also somewhat controversial. You see, one of the things she does is she brings criminals into the college setting, straight out of the prison into the classroom. Now, as an instructor, I've had students as young as eighth grade in my classroom in open enrollment classes. I'm sure that Eva has spent hours addressing concerns on the phone trying to justify what she's doing. And she didn't want to make the classroom unsafe. She wanted to make the community for my daughters, for your family safer. So she stuck at it. She had those phone calls. She listened to, I'm sure, some pretty disparaging, not kind things. And the program, it wasn't perfect. She could, I'm sure, tell you. There were issues. The first few years, there was a learning curve. There's things that went wrong, but she never gave up. She kept fighting. And right now, let's talk about the statistics for the program. As 110 students, 8% of those students will be returned to jail within a year. However, California statistics, 60 to 70% of criminals will go back to prison within a year. What this means is that around 50 people won't be going back to jail in California. They won't be filling up precious spots in our very very overloaded jail, what they'll be doing is learning skills, being connected with employers that want to hire them regardless of their past. It's a game changer for our community. It has a huge impact. We need more heroes like Eva. But Eva doesn't work alone. She has a great team around her, people who are also heroes, inspired, driven, people who fight for our future. And I want to encourage you, be a hero. Find something worth fighting for. Find a way to make our community better. And even if you face challenges and setbacks, don't give up. Because our community, it's worth it.